everybody was like, you have to be careful. He's going to step on them. He's going to push them around. He's going to be aggressive. And it was the complete opposite. He lets them walk all over him. So he'll be sleeping. They'll walk all over his head. Sometimes he wakes up and he looks on his belly and he's like, oh, there's a dog in there. One moment I'm looking at my phone. And I look down and I see this. He loved them from day one. They didn't love him. <laughs> I wanted to start off with, you know, small. I started with Punky. Someone was rehoming her. They couldn't keep her. Well, she was like a whopping two or three pounds, tiny little thing. So I took her home and then I decided that she needed company and found Nacho. His mom just couldn't take care of him anymore. So she rehomed him to me. So a whole bunch of time goes by, like 10 years. I was not looking for a dog and I saw a picture of Tyson. He'd been returned twice through no fault of his own, but the second time the lady had put on the note that he was really good with little dogs. And I, I fell in love with him and I said, okay, I need that dog. But my husband's like, no, we can't have any more dogs. And I was like, please, please. And I went and looked at, I went and looked at him and I couldn't leave him there. <laughs> you wanna hold my hand? I've never had, as an adult, a, a large dog, so I wasn't really sure what to expect. But he's just such a good dog. It's pretty evident to anyone that meets Tyson that he just wants to love and be loved. Do you love me? Yes, you do. Good boy. For the life of me, I can't imagine how anybody could look at him and think, you know what, I'm just going to dispose of him because I don't need him. It was really absolutely the best decision I've ever made is to bring him home. really cranky old guys and they were very jealous so they would nip at him especially punky punky's like the boss so she wasn't having it when he came home i think they realized he's really warm so let's just go and find some warmth under him so now they just basically sleep under him all the time so i was like this is ridiculous but like awesome ridiculous did i wake you guys up Punky will be completely in his belly and his arms will be like wrapped around her. He's so gentle with them. He's very protective. Where they are, he wants to be as well. He just, he's just so different. My little dogs are like super loving, but they're sometimes indifferent. Get it. But Tyson is just all love. I always tell people that there's always that one special dog that comes along in your life, you know, like soulmate. He's my soul dog. <laughs> People shouldn't be afraid to adopt pit bulls because they just make the greatest pets. The dynamic that three, these three have is amazing. People are like, well, I'm never gonna find a dog as good as Tyson in the shelter. And I'm like, why not? I did. I just wanna scream from the mountaintops, like go rescue a dog, like any dog. Just go save a dog because it'll change your life. Muchas gracias por ver el video. Si quieren ver más videos, Ayuda al perrito a suscribirse.